Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this exact simulation in Blender using the default fluid simulator in Blender. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so for this tutorial we're going to use uh, this uh, chocolate monkey as the uh, obstacle, so make sure to download it before we start the tutorial. And then um, when we go into rendered view, you can see that we have both a background image and the chocolate texture for the uh, monkey. I made the real-world size of the monkey quite large because uh, large-scale simulations tend to be more interesting than the uh, small-scale simulations. And then let's go into the physics settings and enable fluid physics. And we will set this one to a vector, which means that the monkey will be an obstacle in the uh, fluid simulation. And then let's also increase the number of sampling substeps to increase the uh, quality of the uh, simulation. And then press Shift A. And now we're going to add the inflow object, which is just a uh, cylinder. And then press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And then press S, then Shift set to scale it only on the X and Y axis. And then press S, then set to scale it on the set axis. Okay. And then next, we're going to press numpad 7 for uh, top view. And then press G to grab. And S to scale. And then we're going to add an empty in the middle to uh, control the uh, cylinder. So press Shift A, empty. And I'm going to add an empty cube. And then press G, then set to grab it on the set axis so that we can see it. Then hold in Shift and select the empty. And then press Control P to set the cylinder parent to the empty cube. And then select the empty cube. We're going to set the end frame to 500, which means that the animation lasts for 500 frames. And then press I to keyframe the rotation. Then go to the last frame. And uh, let's set the rotation value to around uh, 855. And press I to keyframe. And uh, we can also scale up the uh, cylinder slightly. And when we move on the timeline, you can see that we have the rotation animation. And I'm also going to select empty and then press T and set the uh, keyframe interpolation to linear so that the uh, speed is constant. And then next we need to set up the inflow settings for the uh, cylinder. So set it to flow and then liquid in the flow type and then flow behavior to inflow. And let's increase the number of sampling substeps to increase the uh, quality of the simulation. And then I'm going to go to frame 400 and then keyframe the inflow value. And then go one frame forward and set it to geometry so that uh, the inflow drops into the scene at the end of the simulation. And then next, we're going to save the uh, project before we continue. So uh, go to uh, File and then Save As. And I'm going to create a, a new folder and then give the folder a name. You can call it wherever you want. I'm just going to call it chocolate uh, sim and then select the folder and create a blend file. I'm just going to call it toot. I also recommend applying the scale of the inflow object, which uh, usually uh, fixes uh, some of the bugs that uh, might come up when you uh, bake the simulation. And uh, then next, we um, need to uh, set the uh, frame rate to 30 FPS, and then press Shift A, and add a cube, and this will be the domain, which is the border of the simulation, and then press S to uh, scale. And then I press tab for edit mode, go to face select, select the top face, and I press G, then set to grab it on the set axis. And uh, then we can go back to object mode by pressing tab. And uh, let's go into the physics settings, add the fluid physics, and then add the domain type, liquid, then set the uh, resolution to 100 for now. We will increase it later. And then enable diffusion, and because this is chocolate, we need to make the fluid thicker. So we're going to uh, set the viscosity values to uh, 2 for the base, and then uh, 2 for the exponent. 
And then next, we um, need to enable mesh so that it generates a mesh as well. And then set the end frame to 150 for now because we're going to do a uh, test bake. And then we need to set the type to all so that we can bake the uh, simulation. I'm just going to uh, save before I continue. And then click bake all. And after a few minutes of baking, we have uh, this result. And as you can see, the uh, fluid works great. So uh, next, we're going to uh, save. Click on the plus sign and then save. Now, before we set up the final large bake, we're going to uh, set up the materials and uh, so on. So uh, let's go into the materials for the fluid. And I click new. And for the uh, color, we're going to use the uh, chocolate text code, which you can find uh, online. I'm going to use this one. So it's 8456 uh, uh, 3C. And then just copy and then go into the base color and then paste in the uh, hex code. And when we go into rendered view, you can see that we have the uh, chocolate color. You can also make it a bit darker if you want to. I think that looks a bit better. And then let's add some smooth shading to the uh, chocolate fluid as well. And I also like to decrease the roughness inside the uh, principled uh, shader. Like this. And then let's save before we continue. Click on the plus sign and then save. And then press Shift A. And then S to scale up the uh, sphere. And uh, this will be our way of uh, hiding the background image. So let's add a subdivision surface modifier to increase the number of polygons. And then let's add some smooth shading to the sphere as well. And then for the material, I'm going to use the uh, chocolate color, though with a uh, different shade. So uh, you can make it either uh, a bit darker or a bit lighter. And I'm going to uh, press S to scale up the sphere even more like this. And then next, we need to hide the uh, inflow cylinder, both in the render and in the viewport. So uh, let's go into the filter and then uh, disable both the uh, view in the viewport and in the render for the uh, inflow cylinder. And then press Control Alt Numpad 0 to uh, set the camera to view. And then let's increase the range of the camera by increasing the end value. And I'm going to go a little bit backwards, press G to grab the camera. You can also use the middle mouse button and uh, drag it backwards. So like this. And uh, you can also use camera to view to adjust the position of the uh, camera. So um, I'm going to uh, set it up around here. And then we're going to uh, do a new bake. But first, let's uh, make the domain a bit larger by grabbing the uh, lower face on the z-axis and then save one more time. And I'm going to set the resolution to 200. If you have a slower computer, I will probably set it to 150. And then I'll set the end frame to 500. And expect this to take a uh, long time. So uh, maybe a few hours and then click bake all to start the uh, baking. And after a few hours, we have this. I still think that the materials and the lighting need some improvement before we can start the render. So uh, let's um, start off by selecting the uh, chocolate material. And uh, then go into the uh, material settings. And uh, I recommend playing around with the roughness as well as the uh, color of the uh, chocolate. And um, 
Then also uh, go into the uh, world settings, i.e. the background image, and uh, do some adjustments until you have a result that you like. And then I'm going to save one more time. And uh, I think something like this looks fine. So just play around with the uh, different values until you have a uh, nice result. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to go into the uh, output settings and uh, set up the uh, output. So uh, I'm going to create a, a new folder in my uh, render folder and then give it a name. And then we're going to save a, a bunch of PNGs inside that folder. And then you can convert those PNGs to an MP4 file uh, later on. So I'm just going to call it Toots. And then set the compression to around uh, 80. Because uh, I'm using a 4K resolution. If you want a uh, 1080p resolution, you can just set the percentage to 100%. Uh, and uh, then uh, I'll just make sure that everything looks fine. And then go to render and then render animation. And uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and more simulation tutorials coming soon. So thank you guys for watching and subscribe. And make sure to check out the simulation course as well. Link in the description. And thanks to Mr. Monkey Shoes and uh, Terry Davis for supporting the channel on Patreon.